Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick, we're playing Station Ears. Well, last time we got through a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a um a run around in circles type thing. So um how about um this time I get organized. Uh we shall start by making ourselves a to-do list perhaps. That might get a little bit more organized. Uh, so if we put it right here where we can I like those sideways I can't have a vertical one can I well it'll be a sideways one or I'll, I'll put two on there uh, no click right now the great way of wasting time um, what do you want to do I want to um, I probably need to to fix my centrifuge. Um, I need to get up my uh, plants growing so I can get a source of compost. Um, I need to get the water. I need to get the plants and. What do I need? Ah, uh, and our public address system. Okay, that's what we got to do. Right, we can go to the centrifuge. You got halfway through that. I've had a bit of a think about it, uh, and I think I've got some sort of a plan. And basically, I just want to restart it. I'll have the chip outside of the um, machine. Could I put it inside the machine? Um, don't know. I can put up the alarm. Um, did I hook that up last time? Yeah, we got a blue light over there because I've done nothing with it. Now, first things up, we want to be able to restart the thing. So, uh, how you doing? Ah, you got plenty of stuff in there. All right, we'll set you off. Shut you down. All right, now in there, let's find a way to restart it. Import you, edit you. Now, a centrifuge, we shall put to D0. We have the memory and the alarm. We won't use them just yet. Right, let's worry about starting it. So we want to load the RPM and we'll need to bump the throttle up depending on the RPM and probably have to pull the throttle back based on the stress. Uh, so I'll probably want to uh, load into R0 from the oops, centrifuge uh, the uh, stress. Uh, let's try loading that to R1. Right, so we've got the RPM and the stress. Now the RPM, I didn't look to see what it went up to. Well, it was about 500, I think. Um, well, the stress. So zero stress. We'll put a multiplier on it for the stress. So if there is zero stress, we want it to be going full throttle. If there's full stress, zero. So the stress is... Oh, crap. The stress is... is um out of is it out of one or is it out of a hundred uh let's find out uh so i'll need you oh. i need to get a filling station and stuff in here for my tanks and my jet pack and uh oxygen and all that sort of stuff too uh, right, now, put you on, I have, uh, stress, okay, stress looks like it's out of a hundred, uh, our combustion limiter and throttle is out of a hundred, um, Right. 
That'll do. So I need to get a hot number out of a hundred. So our RPM. Now if that's going to go up to about 500, if I just divide that by 5, uh, 5, so when it's full speed, it'll be going at 100. Now I've got to reduce that based on the stress. So 100 stress, throttle should be back to zero. So I'll need to sub so I'll need to reverse that, so I shall need to subtract R1 will be 100 minus the stress. So we've got 100% throttle with zero stress, and 0% throttle with 100 stress now. And probably just multiply that by, I want that number to be out of 1. Because our RPM number is going to be out of 100. This one I just want to be out of 100. So I shall just divide that by um, R1 by 100. So that'll be a number between 0 and 1. So now if I just multiply that by our RPM value, it should give us a throttle setting. Unless I've done that completely wrong. So we should multiply R0. Uh, R0 equals R0 times the stress multiplier and I guess we just save that to the centrifuge throttle yes R0 and what was it called combustion limiter or something like that wasn't it uh, combustion limiter. It, uh, whoop. Uh, it try copy paste. Uh, the combustion limiter. Uh, get rid of you. Get rid of you. And uh, jump to the start. I might just write that number to the housing so I can see what it is as well. Save to db setting r0. Okay. Export ye. Now I do have not hooked them up yet. So I shall need the centrifuge. I don't have hooked up yet. Yoink. Now you can be the combustion centrifuge and you can be the centrifuge alarm. Reset that, switch it on. We have L0 for our setting. Okay, so I might have to add 10 just to get it started. Does that mean it'll never go back to zero? Uh, well, if I add 10 before I multiply it by the stress. Okay. So add zero, 10. That'll at least get it up to the first click. For you. There you go. It's 10. We've now started. Okay, so it goes up when it gets to 15. So 5. So it only goes up in increments of 10. Sounds like when it gets above 5, it cranks it up. So um, that might not be the way to do it. Maybe just add 5 at the start. Uh, stress is going up. Might want to crank that throttle back there, sunshine. He's going down. Uh, yeah, you pulled it back now. 
Was that too late? That's still going down. My stress is going down. Oh, you cranked it back up. Oh, damn, actually working. Up again. Oh wow, damn, that's working. They can't work on the first go. Well, oh, I didn't, I had to change the one of the numbers there. Holy crap, is this actually going to get there? <laughs> um, okay, that might have worked. We just got to make sure it gets up to full speed now. It's up to 70. That's 80. Okay, I think that's a successful startup. All uh, right, so now I just need to uh, put the shutdown on it. Now this will be a dedicated program just for the centrifuge. So I think we can safely say that this does not have to run all the way through every time. So I can put up some exceptions at the start. So I'll probably have a shutdown. The start, uh, we'll put in a stop. I'll put in a stop routine down here. So that will start it. We'll put in a couple of exceptions. So I shall load into R0 from the centrifuge. Uh, Reagents. So if it's full, uh, branch equal. So if it is full, we've got 3000 reagents in there. And go to the stop. Don't keep trying to start it, just go down to the stop. Uh, I guess down here we can sort of say our, our um, save to the memory. Setting. Oh, we'll just write it straight out. We'll say if it's got this far, uh, 200. That's a green light with no with no message, so everything's good. If it hasn't got that far, something's gone wrong. So now we should say uh, we've got to stop it. So stop. We set the. We'll have to set um, you and you to zero we shut the thing off uh, we just shut the whole thing down I guess save centrifuge uh, on zero so we'll just shut the thing off because uh, we can't do anything with it switched on while it's full and I guess uh, save to the memory setting ah oh, we'll just give a warning light we'll say 500 no message and jump back to the start if you haven't emptied it it'll just jump straight back to here so if it is full it can stop if it's run out of fuel from the cent centrifuge uh pressure input can I do that one from that oh, it looks like I can uh, branch equal to zero there's no pressure in the fuel line uh, let's get that one right as well so if that equals zero uh, stop no point trying to start it um, it's got no fuel and don't try and start it while it's open either so load into hard zero from these centrifuge because while I'm empty while I'm emptying it it'll have less than 3,000 and it and fuel it'll try and start it well it can't do that while it's open 
Uh, so open yeah. open so if it is open one so branch equal if it is open uh, just go to stop if we pass all of them uh, try and start the thing um, here we go Export you. No errors. Full throttle. It's happily going along. I should have a green light in there. Nice. So when it fills up, it'll give me a warning light inside now and shut itself down until I empty it. Now I could put up a dedicated furnace for this because I do have a source of heat which is the centrifuge itself. The exhaust from that, I could use that to heat another furnace. It's dedicated, so I don't have to worry about what's happening with that one. I can just grab another one. I, mean, I do have the basic furnace still kicking around in my cupboard somewhere. I could put that one in there, because that'll be enough to smelt anything that comes out of that. And then I can just dump, I don't know, dump the ingots inside somewhere. Um, sure. Yeah, that looks done. Can we kick that one off? Ugh. I'm not I'm not not catching back up. What was the speed on that? 520. That was not far off. Okay, that started. So if I get a power out, it should restart itself. If um if it fills up it'll stop itself. Okay, let's call that one done. So inside we want to set up our Harveys. Do I want to set up my Harveys? Probably not just yet. Uh, now, if I go to you, we have done our centrifuge. Yeah, not you. I have done my centrifuge. Oop. Composter, water, VA. Uh, what else did we say we needed to do? There was the f I've forgotten it now. Oh, the filler. The filling station. Um, and something else. Well, that'll do for now. Uh, right. Put a filling station in here. Bottom of the list, so yeah, that should be priority. Or is it bottom of the list? Uh, probably not. Now I have somewhere where I can drink. Uh, right there. That's, that's, that's a great drinking station, that one. Uh, let's just fix that one then. And of course, by fix, I mean just bodge something in temporary that'll be good enough. Uh, grab you. Yoink. Yep, you're good. Nope, 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 nope. Keep that one. And. Okay, I have a drink station where I can drink. Oh, I've got to get ice. So I want to put Amy up. Because I don't want to be getting my own ice. Uh, yep. Filling station and... Scroll down. Scroll, that's up. Scroll down. Oh, you... Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, not a good editor. Um, there we go. Okay, so what do you want? Compost. That's probably the next one. If I'm going to be growing plants, I want something to grow it in. Now my compost is going to come from these things. I've got them shooted up. Shooted? 
Shite. Shut. Well, oh, whatever it is. Uh, they're wired up. These things are not wired up. I'll need to get a chip to control them. I'll need the hay grass seeds in there. I need to pipe them up to the composter up there. Do I want the composter up there? I want make the seed make the grass here. I want the compost here. I'll have water here. I just want to take the hydrogen out. I think that should be in this room. Um, <laughs> so I, yeah, so if I just need to take one thing out instead of everything else back in, you could probably come down here. But I shall need... Uh, you're going to... Something like that. I'll need to get... All the compost to come in that side, out that side, probably with a stacker. I need water coming in, which will be just over here. So I can run that one off hot water, but that doesn't need to be cold water. So it'd be less water I have to cool down. So I might get the water directly from the. I still got to condense it. So the hot steam comes out of that. I condense it into hot water. And I gotta cool the water before it goes into there. So yeah, okay, so I'll put the hot water into that before it gets to the water cooler. So I need a stacker, I'll need whatever I need for you. I think it was sheets and uh, stuff. Oh, or not stuff, just sheets. Um right, shoots going to there. You've got to get past that pipe. All down. And, Filter low. and in. I'm going to have to break my floor. Uh, if I pull you down, I put you under the floor and out into there. I want to sort it for seeds. Probably not. Uh, now. Check the filing system and I'll put you underneath the floor. I can probably cover that up, cover that wall, and do the rest from outside. That should do. Ah, uh, so cover the wall. What were you? You're a wall. Uh, so I'll need plastic. Oops, I'm lost. And some sheets. And you. You. Run them under the floor and into there. Right. Now you. I mean there. Right. Go out there and fix it. Yeah, we'll go it this way. Ah, oh, look at those green lights. Everything's working. Yeah, you're in the wrong spot. You're in the wrong spot. take out. Uh, well, we can do that. I need you have you uh, yep, that's all right. You're all right. And you're all right. Um, let's bring it out here. The cladding will cover it. Will the cladding cover it? Yep. Oh, 
I'm still gonna have to do, have to go up there. Uh, oh shit! I've broken into downstairs. No. Um. Why don't I have any? Oh damn! No, my base will be venting. Uh, 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 quickly. By quickly, why isn't it venting? I should have a heap of gas pouring out of here. Okay. Does it think the voxels have closed it still? Well, anyway, that's hooked up. How badly have I damaged my base is the question. Uh, you go into there. Uh, whoops. Okay, I think I should have done myself a nasty there, but I might not have. I might have got away with it. I'm still 70 kilopascals. Because, yeah, I did break into that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. We'll call that good luck. Right, so our shoot now goes into you. Get rid of that light. Um, okay. That uses up a fair bit of power. Do I have spare power? Got a spare chip to control it. Now, do I want one for the Harveys? One for each bank of Harveys. Well, that might be something I can do means I need to put another chip in for you. Uh, probably put in more power, another... Uh, could put in more power. Uh, well, use me power thingy. How much power am I using on this thingy? Uh, now... Network analyzer. I don't even have a thingo for the thingy. That's not very good. I'll need another one. Okay, a, a tablet. And a battery. You have to be green. Right, we're using uh, 270 watts. Well, the grey lights are switched off at the moment. Uh, so maybe. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll hook it up to that for now. What the hell? Uh, so I need to get power over to you, and to you, and to them. Harveys don't use much power. They should be okay. And if you, I'll need to hook up a stacker as well. I need to put a room around it. I'll need a vent in there. I'll need a tank somewhere to store my volatiles once I collect them. Any more pipes? Ah, right, that'll do us. 
So I need to get water to it. Get the power to it. Um, I need a chip for it. Yeah. More housings. Uh, the vent, the holder. Came out here for something. Now I've forgotten it. Damn it. I'm sure I'll remember as soon as I get back. The stacker. <laughs> See, I knew going back would be the way to do it. Now, did I have one still? Oh, have I used it? I've used it. My spare one? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. So it is the Ostaka. Uh, because we all know that your poop is best when it's stacked. Though that does use an extra 100 watts. Ah, well, I can switch it off. If I put you to, um, <coughs> there, there, I put you to there. That's not what I wanted at all. I don't want to unload the poop. Uh, stacker, unloader, stacker. That's still going the wrong way. <laughs> Try again. That's the stacker. Turn it around so the power's on the other side. Right. I don't think that'll really matter, but um, that uh, poop doesn't stack that far. Um, shoots. Right. Might be able to reach that with a window on there. Yeah, we'll find out. Missed. Alright, so you... You... I'm using a spanner to lay cables. Well done. Okay, you are not powered because that's not connected to anything. Now, I was going to want to put up a special chip for this bank of Harveys, and I'll probably need one to control the composter as well. Because I'll have a vent in there that will need to be inside a box. Uh, walls. Grab flat walls for the box. Uh, you... Yep, you can go away. I could put a window on that one. But I want to lift that up. Then I can use these walls for other stuff. I can still use that wall. Yeah, window there. And can I use that for anything? No frame in there, so I won't be able to build anything. Uh, it'd be nice if I put the water maker up there. That'd be out of the way. Now I want that close to the furnace. Um, right. So I think you're all done in there. You're all walled up. Uh, I'll need the vent. And get the crap out of there. I'll grab you. I need to get 
cables to you. That's probably not a good spot then to get the cables. It have to be in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle. And then I'm going to have pipes. On this, I definitely won't be able to put anything up there. Oh, how about I just sit you there then? Ah. There you are. Now come out to there. You now will have, not have power because I still haven't hooked you up. So if I hook you lot up to them, I need to hook up them. amount of them onto there. Nope, it's good enough. Uh, you you need to hook to there. Bring you uh, bring you straight over, that'll do for now. Now we should all have power. Yep. Power. Yep. Off. You got power. You lot have always had power. You're good. I should be able to paint that cable now and it should pick up everything. Okay, switch you back to white cable. A whole lot. And got the ones over here as well. Awesome! That means it's all connected. So, I need to set up the Harveys to run. I'll put one of the Harveys and one of them will be the controller for the composter. Okay. The window, I need to pipe you out to the... somewhere. Yeah. Oh, need more pipes than that. Oh, I need to get water in there. Ah! Now we're going to have hot water coming to this. It'll come down from the cooler, which will probably be up on the roof somewhere. So I've um, boxed myself in there. Uh, right, so we shall unbox myself in. I squeeze in through. I can squeeze in through there. Where's the water connector? There it is. Over there. Up the wall. Nice. Now I need to get water to that somehow. Uh, I might just fill a tank for now. Because I don't have a water cooler up there to actually hook it up to. Well, duh. Which means I need a utility and a filler upper. Do I have a bottle filler over there? Moth binks, I don't remember. Oh, there's green lights. Uh, so I shall want the. Oops. Uh, oh, huge. Let's see. If I grab a couple of them. Uh, grab. Yeah, grab two of them. A, a bottle. No, it's a canister. 
Liquid canister. And a regulator. Daddy. Okay. Now I should be able to put in a volume regulator. Uh, that's it's temporary. Put down one of them. Put you into there. Need to hook you up. Uh, with a wrench, hook you up, hook you up, hook you into power. I shall set you to be ninety percent full. There we go. So that's filling up now. It should get to ninety percent and stop. So, which just means I can then go and just chuck it into here then for now. Right. Now, the pipe's going at the top. I need to get our volatiles tank up the top. I'll probably want to get a cable to read that. Got a tank in my pocket, I need some pipes to go hook it up. Put those cutters away before you bang yourself in the face with them. Ah. Uh, right, so I wanted pipes. Right. Maybe more than that. Uh, so I'm going to have I need a tank to store the hydrogen. Waste tank caution. And yeah, that's not a problem for me. Well, I guess stop using my oxygen. That might be helpful. I'm still using my oxygen. I'll stop. That's all right. Ah. Uh, Now, I need volatiles. I've got the tank. I'll need to get a cable. Cable it up. Oh, that's right. I'll be able to, be able to feed the cable inside, and that'll be enough. And I'll need to have a drink soon. See, we should be coming up over here somewhere. There it is. So, I want to store my volatiles over here somewhere. The CO2 can go. Oh, it doesn't really matter. If I put you to say there, I can you out of there. Does have to keep going over to the water burner, so I could I could turn you around. All right, change my mind. That'll put the data connection further away. Let's put it around that way. Of 
course we're on Mars, so uninsulated pipes will be good enough. And we'll have our water burner in there, so we we'll need to go over there somewhere. Okay. Uh, you will be our. I think it's nitrogen as well comes out of that, doesn't it? That won't be just that. I need to zebra that one as well. Oops. There we go. Um. I was looking for cables. We had to hook up the data on that one. Right, so that should connect to that. You will be naming you. You should be our uh, volatiles. Right. Right, we're all done. That's hooked up. We got the cable. Okay. I've got to put a console on that then now, won't I? Oh, yeah. Have a drink while we're here. Uh, yeah. I need to put more water in there before long. Now the cable on that one I can bring down to in here. You're cabled up. Uh, the vent is good. Um, that should be about it. We just need these things to be growing now. Uh, do I have some biomass I can chuck in there? Check it. Oh, I might want a little shoot where I can pop extra crap in there too if I need. Uh, yeah, all right. Easy enough to do. Uh, if I just take a chunk out of you, grab some more of them, and say you, and a usable inlet. Right, so I can just chuck extra stuff that'll go into there now if need be. Uh, is that all done? All done. I've got the vent. I just need a window on you. Uh, plastic. And some glass. Okay, so you are sealed up. Now, a chip I have. We'll shall have one for the composter. You. Uh, compost. Right. We are set. I just need something to chuck in there to make sure it's working. And a... A code. Right. Tidy up. Now I want right. So I shall alias the com postor to D zero. I shall need the 
Becca. V1, I shall need the vent, V2, and the tank. Now, yes, the tank. V3. Is there anything else we needed? I think that's all we've got to do with the composter. Start. I don't want it to be on all the time. I want an alarm on it. I've got to put an alarm on it. I want it run well, it shouldn't run out of water. No alarm. Forget that alarm yet. Uh, so, we shall yield. So, I loaded R0 from the... Ugh. <laughs> on the post or... Um... What is it there? We, we've got reagents, F1, compost, oh, compost, uh, good spelling. Uh, right, that's, um, we have quantity, quantity is what I want. Right, let's call it composter then. Uh, quantity. Now it needs three of them in there, so uh, that's greater greater than or equal to. So if that is greater than or equal to three, um, save composter. Activate one. Oh, oh, zero. So we're going to activate it. If there's enough there, we will activate it. Because um, it's behind a glass panel, so I, I cannot push that button to activate it. So if there's enough in there, just uh, start doing it. Yep. And now I will want to say if there's not enough of that in there. I will also want to check the input. So, uh, a load slot into R1 from the compost. Composter. Uh, slot 0, the input slot um, occupied. Right, so if there is something in there, we want it switched on. So if there's not, not enough in there, we if there's more stuff in there, we want to activate it. If there's not enough in there, uh, so if that's reading zero, we don't want to switch the thing off if there's still stuff in there to be um, in the input slot. So I shall have to then flip this all. No. So if that one's true, or this one's true, we want the thing switched on. Okay, so we shall say or R0, R0 or R1. So if there is enough in there to grind, or there's stuff in the input slot, uh, save compost, composter on R0. I switch it on and save the vent on uh, zero and save the stacker on uh, zero. So switch everything on if we've got that in there. I think that's enough to get us going. Go to the start. Okay. Right. Boom. Uh, Export you, put you into there, and chuck a wobbly because we haven't defined everything. So we want the composter, which is the advanced composter. We want the stacker, which is the stacker. Do I have more than one? It'll be under S for stacker, won't it? 
Ow. Ah, crap. I should have gone the other way around. Thacker. Yes, I do only have one. The vent will be the... Be the compost event. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, that might be something I've got to be careful of. <laughs> Dumbass. Ah, uh, right. I'll have to reset that on there. Um, now you are the... Um, boss. Right. Now. Close you up. Don't chuck miscellaneous stuff in there. Uh, yep. And now you. Reset you. Are the advanced composter. You the stacker. You are the compost event. And you will be the volatiles tank. And you are nothing, you are nothing. Switch you on. I probably should set the vent, but now that's okay. It's already set. I switch you on. No errors. Nothing in there. Okay, I'll have to go and grab something. Okay, we are at pressure and cooling down. We are okay. We are at pressure and temperature. Nice. Oh, we still got enough CO2 though. Uh, now I need to go get something to chuck in the composter. Oops, close the visor. Now I should have enough seeds, or I could just go. Pick a heap of potatoes or something to chuck in there. I still have some grass. I don't remember. Uh. Okay. Uh, did I have a heap of grass left? No, I don't. How are my chicken eggs going? Oh, we've still got time. Chickens are not dead yet. Got some wheat. Got some ferns. I have fern I've got fern seeds. Very good. Uh, lots of tomato seeds. Okay, we've got some stuff. Another drink bottle for me, a drink bottle thingy me jigger. Well, let's go and see if we actually programmed this thing right. Now, so now when I throw something in there, it should switch itself on. Once it's got enough stuff in there to make... I haven't got the water in there, put the water in there. Once it's got enough stuff to make a... Uh, compost, it should start activating itself. If I've done it right. Uh, you, go into there. Uh, you, I need to go into there. Now you, I should just be able to eat. I should switch on. Event switched on. And it's activated. Aha! Um. Nice! Uh, I might... 
I could put a display on there to say how much stuff's in there. Uh, I had a spare console in the assortment. Uh, you shoot it there. Grab you. Right, and you are the um, Foster Lay. Oh, that was a a poop. Yes, there's one in there. Okay. So once it's made three of them, it should have run out and it should switch off again. Uh, okay, so the vent and the stacker should probably only be on up here. So if I cut you out, put you up here, and I cut you out, put you up here, yep, cut you out. Right, while it's actually activated, the vent and the stacker will be on. Uh, if it's just grinding stuff, they don't need to be on because it's not making any smells. Now, I wanted the display. So, alias, the display. D4. Uh, and I can just put that on here. Quantity save display setting. Uh, zero, because we've already just read the quantity, and that's what we want to display on there. Um, okay. So D4 has got to be the display. Uh, you should be the composite display. Excellent. Export you. No problems. We still got three in there. That's the last three. Should be making the last uh, last poop. The zero. It switched everything off. Ha ha. Okay, we got the composter done. Nice. Wow. That's been a successful programming. Got that one right without muffing it up. Got the, the uh, centrifuge right without muffing it up. Uh, okay, so I am good to start planting stuff in there right now. I should have checked the power usage while that was switched on. But while we got the lights going, it is still only 700 watts going. So I do have, I think it's about 3 kilowatts or something to go into that thing. So I should still be good. So I can now plant my, uh, my grass in there. And we should be good. Okay, nice. Well, that's a nice, that's more progress than we got from the last one. Uh, right. You can go into there. You can go into there. And you can go into there. Counting up, it's switched on. Excellent. That means I should have some yummy, yummy volatiles in there. Nice. What the? F Why is that so hot? I mean, fair enough, it's going to burn up all the oxygen in there and then stop, but, um, what the hell? Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I've got volatiles now. The oxygen's almost gone. Um, yep, yeah, okay, I need to go clean out that tank. Anyway, that's about all we got for today. See you next time. Happy building. See ya.